Alright, time for the final battle with Dr. Wily here. We're gonna go up the... Uh, up... Okay. Hey, you can stop that now! Oh, come on! Really? You're burning out my ears here, come on! Okay, so... This castle extends like 17 billion feet up to the goddamn... Outer reaches of outer fucking space?! And now we have a moon jump, and we get to run around and shoot these drill things. Straight out of Metal Man, yo! Look at this nonsense. How do you even build a goddamn space station that connects to the Earth? How the fuck do you... Uh, my water shield is great against these things. There's a free guy down there, but I don't need that. The final wide level here is generally to get a free life and another M tank. What is it, a W tank? Maybe it's upside down! I don't know. Looked like an M to me. I'm not completely sure here. Uh, there's only one weapon you need for the final battle with Dr. Wily, and it ain't the water shield. No, we already used our water shield on his uh, second form there, so... We can just use it here and blast through these drills without taking much damage. Heck, we might not even take any damage. In fact, I don't think we, I did take any damage. I took one solitary hit there. Huh, that's a W there. I guess that was an M-Tank. Alright! This final form is weak to the Chill Spike. And there's no way you can get it with the uh, spiky bits. You just had to shoot the glob eyes at it. But we fall down and we're on the Earth and we're... I guess we're in space? Or maybe we're in a big view screen and now we fight a double Wily Capsule number 10! Only the flesh-colored one takes damage, and they shoot projectiles. Just shoot that shield spike at him. Has a few attacks. This thing where he launches a thing and it comes at you. And he has one more attack. Yeah, this is it. He launches these electric shots, I guess, and they arc around. Just, just plug on him with the chill spike, really. It's not hard. I'm taking a lot of damage, but you'll kill him with the weakness a hell of a lot quicker. Did he just sneeze? I guess my chill spike is making him cold! <laughs> oh, fucking shoot me! No, actually shoot him! There, he's dead. Look at that. Nah, I, beat, I beat the game. Yeah! Did I just blast Dr. Wily into space where he will die a slow death from asphyxiation and float into the sun or something or into the endless reaches of the void? Oh, no, he's right there. I guess we do have gravity. We got him! We, we must be in the thing, otherwise he'd be, like, suffocating. I mean, Mega Man doesn't need to... What? Oh! Oh no, I guess my chill spike really did give him a cold! Ha 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 ha! Ho ho! I made you sick, but you were in the mach... You were in the machine! How does it... Just... <sighs> oh well, Mega Man takes him to the hospital and... He immediately... Uh, breaks out a few days later then, okay? What? What? What is this, Otto? What are you talking about? What? What?! He just leaves the fucking cure?! What? Why would he do that?! Leave the robots be sick! You're evil, Dr. Wily! Why would you suddenly be nice? <laughs> okay, so this is the ending to a Final Fantasy game. Thank you for watching Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I've been Freezing Inferno, and I hope you have a very good day here. Oh, no, wait, it was Mega Man 10. Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding! Oh, I, I, I don't mind this ending. You get to see the Robot Masters, but they don't have, like, the those big little bits of art of them doing silly things and stuff. <laughs> No, they don't have the art, and that's kind of a shame. I liked the art. I liked the Concrete Man chasing Dr. Wily and Harpu- not Harpu- yeah! Tornado Man. Tornado Man and, Harp and Harpu are pretty much look the goddamn same. Tornado Man and Mega Man, like, posing, being like, yeah, we're bros now! Sheep Man, I still love you, no matter what they say. You get a bad rap, just like Dust Man. Strike Man's pain in the ass to bust your duel, but eh, he's okay. I suppose. This is good credits music, too. I like it. So, I guess now that we're watching credits, I should give you my, like, final rant. I'm gonna use this space to rant about Mega Man 10. 
Mega Man 10 is a good Mega Man game. Is Mega Man 10 a great Mega Man game? Not really. No. It's just there. I mean, it's pretty good. It, I can think of a lot worse games to spend an hour playing. A lot worse. I'd rather spend an hour with Mega Man 10 than with fucking Battletoads or Ghosts and Goblins or any shit like that. Or the myriads of other shitty shits, but... If you hold it up to Mega Man 9, it pales in comparison. Just pales. Mega Man 9 was fantastic. I didn't like it at first, Mega Man 9. I thought it was a bit unfairish. And I honestly do still think it is a bit unfair to the first time player. There's a lot of traps that you are simply not expected to get past your first time. There's a lot of bullshit that you wouldn't know to get past immediately. It's not about reaction time, really. It's more about knowing what to do where, and where to jump, and stuff like that. But once you get a hang of it, and get playing it, it becomes great. You know how to get past the traps. You can enjoy the game for what it is. It's got pretty great robot masters. Excellent music and the best weapon set in classic Mega Man, in my opinion. With Mega Man 9, I really think they were trying to sort of recreate that smash hit success that Mega Man 2 was, because everybody loves Mega Man 2. But here's the thing about me and Mega Man 2. CONTROVERSY AHOY! Mega Man 2 is kind of a lot like Mega Man 10 for me. It's good, but it's not the best Mega Man. I mean, I'll give you that the music's fantastic, the weapons are fantastic, and the Robot Masters and their stages are good, but it's all about balance to me. Mega Man 2 is unbalanced. Oh, by the way, Andrew Alfonso, that gives me a little story here. I, I talked to a guy named Adrian Alfonso once, and he said that his brother works for Capcom, and because there's a, I don't know if you know, but there's a character in the Phoenix Wright series named Adrian Andrews, and he said that that character was named after his brother named him after him and him because of her, because stuff. But that's probably bullshit. But anyway, back to Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2, good robot masters, good weapons, good music, good stages. Except for the Wily stages. Those are unbalanced to fuck, I think. You've got these situations where you need to use your weapons very, very, very conservatively, or else you are bone fucked. Like the platform, like using your items. And the punishment is having to farm for energy. In fact, the final boss! If you do not have enough weapon energy for the, to use the one specific weapon on him to beat him, you have to kill yourself and get a game over to refill that weapon. That's just bad design. But at the same time, I kind of see why Mega Man 2 was like that. It was sort of rushed. It was sort of a project created in the Capcom designer's spare time while they were designing other games. So I understand why Mega Man 2 is like that. And I still appreciate it for what it is, but 9 has a bit more polish for me, it's a bit more balanced and fair. And I really think that's great. I really like that. Oh shit, ah, fucking. The goddamn thing is. There, okay. That was. Yeah, I, I ran it too long, I wanted to go into sleep mode. But yeah, I'm almost out of time here, so. Mega Man 9, fantastic. Mega Man 10, not as fantastic, but as a Mega Man game, still very good, and I recommend you play it. Well, is that it for the LP? No, that's not it for the LP. I cleared the game in an hour and six minutes, but I still have some extra shit to do. So I will see you next time, and thanks for listening to my rant. Later, Gators! <laughs>